Hey guys, well once again the wind's super loud. And actually I'm gonna try to tuck in here, sorry about that. Anyway, um, what you can see behind me is a big beaver dam, or it's not that big, but it's a beaver dam and it's starting to flood my front yard a little bit. It's been doing it for a while. I was gonna wait till November 1st trapping season um, to do it legally of course, but I called uh, a, a couple friends and just things in general kind of convinced me to go ahead and try to call the conservation, the DNR, the Minnesota DNR, and they gave me a permit to go ahead and trap before season. It actually even gave me a permit to shoot it if I, you know, deem it necessary. I'm gonna try and trap it first. Um, there's a lot of different regulations with this stuff, but basically I asked him and he said, you know, first of all, I know you're not allowed to set them in culverts, the traps, the conibear, I'm gonna use conibear 330s. You're not allowed to set them in culverts, which this is right by a road, and it'd be a perfect spot to put them in a culvert. But you're not allowed to do that, and they have to be at least half submerged. So, um, I've never, I've only researched beaver trapping a tiny bit. Some of the old books that I'm reading reference only steel regular leg hold traps and like sliding poles and, and rocks and stuff like that to drown them. I've got these 330s, I want to try to use that. Um, I've got some real good friends, thanks Justin, a lot of guys, Dave, stuff like that on uh, Facebook and stuff been giving me helpful advice. I'm gonna try and just basically wreck his dam and funnel him into a 330. Uh, I wrecked his dam already once, just to double check, make sure he was still here, and he rebuilt it within a lot, probably a lot faster than it took me to wreck it. So, um, yeah, so basically I'll, on the way out, probably show you what he's been doing. I've got some pretty good popper, popples that he's uh, cut down. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go set it up. I'm gonna do the fence, I'm gonna set the conibears up, do the fencing, and then I'll know right where to to damage the dam. I think I'm gonna damage the dam a little bit to the side of the conibear, just a tiny bit maybe. Actually, probably not, because I don't want them to be able to get around my fencing. What I'm worried about is the debris catching on the trigger and setting the trap off, but I don't really want to wreck the dam and be working in Niagara Falls here, so that's the way I'm gonna do it. Let's see if it works. You guys don't laugh at me, it's the first time I've ever done this. Just me stepping around over here has made the water flow more. I'm gonna try to give them a nice line right through there to go through. There's my fencing. I did a lot of prickly ash, which has just a boatload of thorns on it. So I mean, that's not gonna be pleasant. So hopefully it goes through there, you know, whatever. If this doesn't work, I'll break out some bait, some caster, stuff like that, and really go to town. Just it takes so long just to do this even. Not too bad, you know, but you got an hour of messing around. And maybe I will do one over there. I haven't decided yet. Okay, I gotta take the safeties off. Okay, well the safeties are off my con of bear. Um, if this isn't the way you... I'm gonna do some research tonight. I just... I'm super busy right now. Um, but if this ain't the way you do it, man, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully this is a city beaver and he's not too freaking smart. Anyway, that's my other set. This one I'm a tiny bit worried about because I don't want it visible from the road. Um, well, I take that back. I don't really care if you can see it from the road. I want it to be legal, so I don't want it to be more than halfway underwater. This one's not a... I'm gonna dig out some of the crap behind it and then maybe try to push it down a little bit more. Anyway, these are my two sets. I got one more in reserve if I don't catch him. I'll break it out. Well guys, I got him. It's about quarter after four in the morning and I gotta go to work. And Justin, you said I probably shouldn't leave him out there so if I wanna eat him or something. So if he was a little smaller, I'd wrap him up and put him in the fridge, but I guess I gotta freeze him. That's gonna suck cleaning him tonight, but I don't wanna waste him. I don't think he's super big as far as beavers go. I guess I'm not an expert. He looks big to me, but he's, I don't know. The water's still flowing, so I think this is really the only one. Probably a juvenile, I would guess, from the nest or whatever that got kicked out. Water's still flowing. The water's already going down in my front yard, so that's good. This was in the first set that I did. I caught him in. The other one, the other ones, I got to get my rubber boots on and check, but I don't think there was anything there. I looked pretty close. Anyway, guys, thanks for everybody's help, and uh, yeah, first one for me.